managing and working on projects can be a tricky business, especially if you've got a lot of projects on. Over the years, I've worked on many projects and found it overwhelming with the sheer number of documents I have to create, number of meetings I have to join and catch up with later, or even write meeting notes for, and track all of those follow-up tasks. Or how about managing the plan, or even writing back all of those emails you get every single day? Managing all of that leaves no time to often work on the project itself. Well, with the introduction of Microsoft 365 Copilot, it got me thinking, could we use Copilot to help me manage or work on my many projects? And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how today it's truly possible and ways that you can use Copilot to automate some of your project work so you can focus on the more important things in life or even the project itself. So let's head into Copilot and see how we can make it transform the way you work with your projects one single task at a time. Working on projects means working on lots of documents. Is there a quick way though that Copilot can help us draft up a new project document? Well, I need a new project specification completed for a project I'm working on. Inside of Microsoft Word, we have new options for Copilot. Here at the top of the screen, we can select describe what you'd like to write. This now opens a dialog, allowing us to prompt Copilot to create us new content. By simply giving it a prompt, it can now create a document for you. In fact, I'm asking Copilot here to generate a project specification for a new project called Productivity X and giving its information what the project relates to. If we go ahead and send this into Copilot, we'll see a document live on the screen generated as our new project specification. But I know that many of you, including myself, can get a bit stuck in terms of the layout. Copilot creates something that it believes is a project spec. But what if you already created a spec before or follow a corporate template? In fact, I've worked on another spec recently and that was a project green space. We can see here the structure of the document is very different to what Copilot firstly created us in the last example. But do you know with Copilot, we can use different documents as a baseline or a template to create content from? Yes, I can take this structure for our project specification for Project Green Space and apply it to our new project. Let's now go back and open a brand new document. And this time, once again, click into the prompt box at the top of Microsoft Word. And we'll go ahead and add in the same prompt. And alongside that prompt, I'm now gonna add another sentence. Right at the end, I'll ask Copilot to write this specification based on, and then click on the forward slash key, and I can now see different files I could reference from. Now select now project spec for project green space and send it into Copilot. And now live on the screen, Copilot will take the template and the document I worked with recently and will now begin to create content from that in the same structure. No longer will Copilot do the guessing game around the structure document. Instead, it'll go and create content from the template or the baseline document I simply told it to follow. And how about we have Copilot help us as a meeting note taker in any of our team's meetings. Here I have a meeting with Alex and I can go ahead and select the Copilot button inside of our meeting. Now this will allow me to ask questions of Copilot inside of the meeting, but it won't be stored after for me to utilize. To do that, we need to transcribe our meeting. And that's really simple to do. Click on the freed up more menu and select start transcription. And at this point, if anyone now discusses any points in your meeting, they'll be shown in the transcript on the right hand side, as well as now being available post the meeting inside of a transcript that AI such as Copilot can analyze and understand more of and even give you a transcript later. Let's check out how that works when the meeting ends. And when your meeting is finished, all that I need to do is go into the Teams calendar or the original invitation. You can go down and select view recap on your meeting summary and you'll now see here that we get an AI summary from that meeting. This is taking the transcript and Copilot has now processed to summarize the key meeting notes, as well as any follow-up tasks it captured in the meeting itself. We can also expand the meeting notes to find out more detail to which they're also generated from. And also if you wanted a transcript of the meeting, go ahead and select transcript and you'll now see the full description inside of the meeting. You can also click on the download button to download it in Word and also store it as one of your project documents. If you also want to know when people are mentioned, select the at mentions button and you'll now see where you have been mentioned. 
so you'll know specifically what's been mentioned around your name and if you also need to catch up on that key point. So it's really powerful here to use the AI summary in any of your meetings for your project meeting recaps you can take into other apps and more. But also we can go a step further. Let's go ahead and look at another meeting we recently had. Here was one of our standard meetings for Project Green Space that I had a meeting with Alex around. By opening that meeting, we can once again see there's a meeting recap generated, an AI summary of all of those meeting notes and the follow-up tasks as well. What I'd like to do following this meeting, however, is also have an email summary for people who couldn't join the meeting. Now, how do I do that? Well, I could very easily select copy all, head into an Outlook email and simply paste it in. And you'll now see here the meeting notes are shown, but that still requires me to adjust this into more of an email style. So instead, let's go back into Microsoft Teams and now this time, close down the meeting summary. Head over to Copilot inside of Microsoft Teams and now we'll give Copilot using the BizChat or Copilot chat experience a prompt to use our meeting recap notes as a basis for an email I can share with my peers. Let's go and add that in. By adding our prompt here, I'm simply telling Copilot I need an email summary of the key points discussed action points and also deadline dates. The email is professional and also the meeting notes are specifically in a location. Here I'll simply click on the forward slash key, select meetings and now I can choose from one of my meetings I have a meeting recap available for. Selecting my standard meeting, I can go ahead and click on the send button and send it into Copilot and we'll now see a summary of those key points that we had in our meeting even a list of the attendees and the time and date of that meeting. So very simply, you can click on the copy button and now head back into Microsoft Outlook. And we'll see the complete difference here of the email. I'm making a few adjustments to that email. We can now see we have an email summary of the meeting itself, all within Outlook that I can send on to my peers and people who couldn't join the meeting that I've generated in just seconds inside of Copilot and in Outlook. So we've already seen some great capability about managing and working on your projects with the help of Microsoft 365 Copilot. But we know that Copilot can do so much more when it comes to your work. It can truly transform the way that you work, make you more productive and more successful in your role. And with that, we've built a whole new Microsoft 365 Copilot Masterclass for over 40 video lessons, 11 modules and downloadable material to ensure that you can use Copilot in the best possible ways to transform the way that you work right now and in the future. So if you truly want to work in a different way, why not check out our Microsoft 365 Copilot Masterclass link below, get enrolled and learn how to use Copilot in the best possible ways. Otherwise, let's head back into Copilot and see how else it could transform the way that you work with your projects. But can you manage your plan with Copilot? And absolutely, there are integrations with Copilot and Microsoft Planner. But if you use other apps and you have an Excel spreadsheet of your plan, or even taken from Microsoft Planner, you can very easily use Copilot to help you manage your plan. Here I am inside a Microsoft Planner Premium, and I don't have Copilot available to me inside a Planner Premium. But what I do have access to is the ability to simply export my plan into Excel. I'll go ahead and export this so I can take a copy locally which can then work with Copilot on. And going back into Microsoft Teams and Copilot using the Copilot or BizChat experience, what we can now do is click on the Add Content button and we can upload that file from your computer. By uploading it, we'll have access to that project plan. Let's go ahead and open it here and now give Copilot a prompt to summarize the plan, the key points and where we're up to on the overall plan itself. And we can see in real time that taking that Excel file with my prompt, Copilot has now provided a simple project overview, outlining all the key stages and tasks and who they're assigned to, the percentage complete, and also any relevant other information. Alongside that, it even shows us task assignments of status and summarizes that, and also some late tasks that I and Matthew are working on, which have not yet been started and may also be late for delivery. So as simple as that, we can now take your project plan into Copilot and have it summarized for you. But in addition, we can go a step further. 
Let's go ahead and ask it what are the next steps to address the late tasks. We can see that Copilot using an Excel spreadsheet, which only information it has access to, can now come up with some ideas to be able to also bring our plan back into line. And that is a simple way that you can manage your project plan, regardless of where you manage your plan and in what software, with help of Copilot by simply attaching it into your Copilot chat, asking questions and summarize it and more. And when you're working on projects, you can often spend hours and hours inside of Microsoft Outlook, setting up meetings and replying to emails. We can have Copilot simplify that and save us those all important hours. As an example here, I've had an email coming from Alex, suggesting we set up a meeting also to discuss the project progress with Nestor, one of our project stakeholders. Now, of course, I could enter calendar and begin to schedule my meeting and do it all manually or we can have Copilot do it for us. So inside of this email, inside of the new Outlook, I'll go ahead and click on the freed up menu and I select other reply actions and select schedule with Copilot. In doing so, Copilot now understands the email thread and then can summarize the key points. By showing it here, we'll see an agenda point is added to discuss the outcome of meeting with supplier and the summary of the overall conversation so far. By clicking on the insert button here, it will insert it into the meeting invite. The recipients won't need Copilot to see this, it's now attached as plain text inside of your email. I can very simply add Nestor into this invitation and also use find a time to find a time that we're all available for in a single click. And as quick as that, I've now got a meeting set up with my colleagues, including Nestor, in their diaries with an attachment of the email thread and a summary generated all in seconds. But what about replying to emails? Is there a quicker way to do that with Copilot in your projects? And there absolutely is. Once again, I'm here in a new Outlook and Alex has sent me a message asking some detailed questions around the project. What I can now do with Copilot is click on the reply button. I don't need to reply myself. Instead, you'll see here at the bottom of the screen, I've got draft with Copilot. Swift is ideal. Core data works, maximize in-app revenue. Well, I'd certainly like to do that. Let's go ahead and select maximize in-app revenue. Copilot reviews the email Alex has sent and now generates the email, also including those different points, referencing that Swift is the right option to consider as our development methodology to work on iOS apps. In addition, it also sets out around the in-app transactions, around maximizing our revenue as well as subscription options as well. I could make further changes, but I'll go ahead and select keep it, and we'll now see a very detailed email that I can adjust that can be sent back to Alex. But over four paragraphs information here has been generated in less than 10 seconds. You can add the value you need inside of the email, and Copilot can help you come up with the right response. And as simple as that, we now have Copilot help you reply to your all important project emails and stay on top of all of those emails coming in. So we've checked out Copilot capabilities there that can help with you in managing and working on your projects. And to me, it feels like we're just scratching the surface of what's possible. One year ago, all of what I've shown there was hardly possible with the help of Copilot. And so now we can truly see transformation coming from the advent of AI tools in Microsoft products. And I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Will some of these tools and techniques help you in managing and working on projects? What would you like to see in Copilot or one of our future tutorials that could also help you with improving the way you work and also on your projects too? I'd love to know. So head into the comments and let me know. And if this video has helped you, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, the all important subscribe button to find more great content like this that will truly transform the way that you work with the tools that you already have. Otherwise, well, I'll be seeing you on the next one.